Thought I'd show y'all how to build these uh, quick and easy B-rails. Um, this is nothing fancy. There's no real science to it. Somebody might say there's some engineering to it, but not really. Um, two two by fours, eight feet long, and on either end, a foot in from the end, I put a one foot cross brace. Now, does it have to be exactly a foot in? No. Could I put one in the middle? Yeah, probably, but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, that's why I actually set them in. I was gonna put them immediately on the exact end, but I thought, you know, over time, this middle span might wanna bow out a little bit. It's not really gonna have any force on it to make it wanna bow to the outside. All the weight's gonna be pushing down, so it'll make it wanna bow down, if anything. Um, but by moving my cross braces in a foot, that should help prevent that at least a little bit anyway. So, I mean, it's just, it's real simple. Pressure treated lumber, um, two by fours. And then I set them up on these eight by eight by 16 cinder blocks. I found that's a real good height off the ground. So eight inches off the cinder block, and then you get three and a half inches with the two by four. So it gets you about a foot off the ground. That's a, that's a good working height from what I've found, um, working my bees. You can see on, on my older ones, I was using four by four posts. And that's fine too. Um, there's no problem with that, uh, but it's a little bit more. It's a little bit beefier than you need, I think, um, and about twice the price to build a rail like that. Now it's stronger, it's simpler. There's no screwing stuff together, but yeah, twice the price. Uh, that one there is two by sixes with a four cross brace. This one here is two by fours. This one's one bys, which I would never use this rail as a. Um, Hive support, it's one that I used, I built it so it can hang the frames inside. You can see all the frames hanging inside. So it's actually built on purpose, kind of flimsy, so the frames actually fit inside of it for frame storage. But this is kind of what I'm going towards. Like I said, cheap, simple, easy. I mean, if you want to use a 10 foot, 12 foot, whatever long, but I like eight foot rail, it just makes things easy. Um, I can put usually about four, four 10 frame setups or about eight or nine five frame boxes. On a rail this long so like i said just toss this one up i'm trying to get the bee yard cleaned up a little bit i've got all this piled up mess and this is actually clean compared to normal um so, but i got this one put up um instead of having the boxes just stacked on the ground they, the boxes were just stacked on those two by sixes on the ground that's not good so got that put up gonna get everything moved over off of this rail probably um and then replace that one with another new one that i'm gonna build um, or I might build the other new one and put it in here for all those boxes to sit on. I haven't decided yet, but it doesn't matter. Just trying to clean the bee yard and uh, thought some of y'all might benefit from seeing how I built this quick and simple rail.